this, as you can tell, I have had for a long time. I use it all the time. And it's a great corrector. It's the uh, Cheap Joe's Fritch Scrub. This is a size 16, and I like it because it has a beveled edge. The bristles are stiff, but they're long enough to be gentle on your paper. So if you've got an area that you need to lift and you don't want to damage the paper, it's a great one to do so. Um, this little fella I've been working on, if I want to lift, I put a little bit of moisture on there and I just let it sit for a minute. And I just gently rub this along the, the surface that I want to lift. In this case, it's also blending outwardly. So it gives me a nice soft edge. And if you have a lot of territory to lift, like his nose is a little bit dark, I'll lay some water. And you can soften the edge. just by the way you turn it. That's interesting. I was teaching a workshop one time and I had a Fritch scrub, the smaller one. I introduced it to the class. We got on the phone and called Joseph at Cheap Joe's and asked him to send it out. They overnighted it and when the UPS guy pulled up in the parking lot, the women went running out there to grab it. <laughs> he thought he'd lost We'd lost our minds, or he had lost his. So you can lift highlights easily. You can put that diamond shape in. And it's, it's very subtle, but it gets the job done. You can lift out entire passages of paint and put the right stuff back in if you messed up. It's got a little bit more of a highlight over here that I left out. They're great for fixing uh, spots that you make when you make messes. So all you have to do is put a little moisture on there let it sit for a minute. And you can even blot it with a paper towel one time. Also, if you paint outside the lines like somebody did up here, you can wet that. Let it sit for a minute. Give it time to let go of the paper. And just erase it. If you're lifting, you really want to go from the outside in. Otherwise, you're really grabbing that paint and pulling it back out, which makes your boo-boo even larger than it was before you fixed it. So if you don't have one of these, that's a good one to add to your arsenal of great brushes.